Hey there, everybody that here, and welcome back to that plays RimWorld Anomaly. I have an idea. I know what you're thinking. It's probably a terrible idea, and you're probably right. But what if we used this section here? And, you know, it's like, what do you mean by use it? You'll figure it out. Okay, I'm going to seal this back up here. We're going to mine out these collapsed rocks. And then we're going to open it up right here. So what am I thinking? I'm thinking about that quest. Aristocrats under threat. We can't... We don't have room for eight people. Not in our current base. But we could have room for eight people up here. If we uh, took some measures to give ourselves room for eight people. You know, so what if we just took this place and turned it into a proper bedroom or a proper well yeah area to sleep really bed area the same thing. you know what i'm trying to say you smart lads uh yeah what if we just went with a fine marble floor for all of this you can't what if we went for fine marble floor for some of it though you know like all of this part See, now, now we're thinking with gas. Um, so let's try that. Let's actually cancel it in... Really, Randy? I'm trying to do something over here, you jackass. All right. What color is the Empire's color? Oh, it's always like Empire Gray. Or whatever. Put that in the middle. And the rest of it will just be, uh marble tile most of it's already marble tile so that's helpful okay <laughs> and then a marble tile area here for a doorway okay yeah i was gonna say most of that's gonna be wall i mean that's a lot of turrets we got a proximity activator it's not active yet two blasters a pikeman a scorcher Two Inferno turrets and a mech assembler. Hmm. Well, I'm still going to set this spot up and make it look nice, but obviously I'm not going to use it yet. Because somebody decided, you know, I'm going to do two, a space of two here. I'm going to put an ornate door here because I can. And then we can consider it home area. We can actually repair this. You know? It'll look nice. Okay. Honestly, is there any reason not to just, like, wall this off? Forever? Like, it can't do anything to us. I mean, unless something wakes them up, but what's going to wake them up? They're going to assemble four mechanoids. And then they're going to attack us with a Scorcher... A pikeman and a scyther, and then four or whatever wakes up over here. Uh, I get, yeah, there's the two centipede blasters too. They're kind of a bigger deal. Kind of. But yeah. We'll make a nice little area over here. We'll put eight beds in it. They'll have a place to sleep. Probably make it less hot over there. We'll see if we can get that done in time. It was just an idea that came to me. Here, Civil War, can you uh, go ahead and deconstruct this wall segment, please? Thank you. Right. So I just needed I needed to work there. Okay. And we'll do uh, just a ornate steel door here. Yeah, it'll look good. It'll look good. It's not a room yet because it doesn't have a door, but once it does. Too bad we don't have any source of granite. <laughs> An extravagant edifice. You want me to build something big? I mean, for a neuroform. Ooh, anti grain warheads. How does the Red Hill Union have four anti grain warheads? Someone tell me this? All right. 
We stand to lose a little bit of relation if we uh, if it gets destroyed. But honestly, we have space. We could put it like over here or something. I forgot about this thing. I completely forgot that there was a twisted obelisk here this whole time. How long do we have to accept that? 3.6 days? I'm considering it. Yes. It is under consideration for the time being. Steel's in there. I don't know why we just dropped the gold off outside. That was a little wild. And then someone carried it back. Okay. Cool, I guess. And then we can just put up some uh, ideology stuff. Actually, I think it's, it's royalty stuff. But, uh, you know, we put in some things to make it look quote-unquote better. Some drapes. You know. Literally just the uh, just a little bit of decoration up in here. Put up some uh, some beds, of course. I mean, that's pretty much what we got to do. But it is what it is. Um, they'll probably want some light in here. Actually, I could just put a floodlight in the corner and boom, this whole room's lit up. <laughs> put some source of recreation in here for them. Somewhere. Not sure where yet. We'll figure that out. I'm not going to be too concerned about the quality of the beds or anything. Hey, it should work out. Hey, look at that. All the wall got done here. Actually, you know what? Let's double wall it. We might even triple wall it. Just to really bamboozle them. Hey, it look good. They look good. I like what we're doing over here. I don't know if it makes sense, but I like it. Alright. Wind turbines are smoking right now. I mean, I hope they're not smoking. That would be a, a problem, but you know what I mean. Picking up what I'm putting down. Thanks for the three wood. Nature. I I, I assume nature just did that because it could. There you go. See, now we got all this, the goo and stuff around there. This is going well. Over here, it's a... It's a self-contained quote-unquote problem. And we have no trash over here. That's amazing. Yeah. Very cool. And we still have room for one more piece of trash over here. Nice. Alright, here come the beds. Of course there's a warg hunting Marjo. Why wouldn't it? So you can't have anything around here. Just move. Could have you punch it, to be fair. I mean, you should theoretically be equipped to fight it. But Latch would be a better candidate to fight it. With the whole, you know, healing mechanism. There you go. And you can come over here and help. Mm, it turned around for a minute. There you go. It's done. Thank you. Thank you, Latch. Your services were well received. Oh, are we full now? Pretty much. I don't know why we got trash out on the outside of it, but okay. Whatever, I guess. Eh, good, good, excellent. Good, excellent, good, excellent, normal. Someone was going to do it. I knew someone was going to goof it up. It was inevitable. All right. Good stuff, lads. Good stuff. Keep this stuff coming. Okay. You're moving some slate chunks when we can, too. That way we can get all this and get more slate so we can make more wall. All right. Now it's officially a room. Somewhat impressive. We'll see how impressive it is when everything's actually done. Probably should get rid of these slate tables. We can put different tables in here later. 
New Harbinger tree. Nice. Yeah, we can put a billiards table over to the side. Make that out of slate, too. Because we can. Yeah, is it going to be better than our other room? Maybe not. But it's going to be good. And it's lit all... Um, oh, I'm looking at the inside of the wall. It's lit most of the way. Fam. That actually might be better. The rate it's going, you don't know. I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe you could tell already. Okay, so we're we're also patching this up over here. But yeah, a, a double wall or even a triple wall will be sufficient to do what we need to do over there. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, if I can get those four anti grains and just shoot one like in this general area. Well, then the problem's solved, right? As are the next two or three other mechanoid problems. At least in theory. Unless they decide to drop them closer. That could be a problem. One we would have to solve. How many more geysers we got? There's two more out here. I got four. And one over here. And one down here. Okay. The rest of them are a little too far away to be considered, you know, easy gives. But we'll see. We'll see. If we end up using them in the future. I'm leaning toward no. Heat wave. Great. It's going to get even warmer. Dude, why does Randy do what he do? Like, it's 27 Celsius outside. Okay. Um... Just throwing some passive coolers all over the place. Okay. Multiples if we can. We're going to need them. I don't worry about these guys. Um, you guys don't have any form of heat relief, huh? I didn't think about that. At least not right away. I'm hoping this can keep its temperature. I mean, it's still pretty cool over here. We'll see how it looks during the day. That's where it's going to make the difference. I swear, for someone who's supposed to be random, they're like, he's like throwing the worst things at us at the worst time. Ooh, that's a good spot for steel, though. Hey, okay, it is now 38 C outside. 40. All right. It's uh, about 100 Fahrenheit. Yeah. We're going to have a problem. Seriously, dude? Good lord. Okay, well, it's filthy in here. But it's nearly done. In fact, with it being so filthy, it's surprisingly okay. Baron, can you use counsel? Yes, you can. Go ahead and counsel uh, Maskinen, please. Maskinen's in a pretty bad mood with the whole sun dying thing. Turns out. She failed. Well, that's great. Okay, now we need to get the deconstruction done, if someone would be so kind. And we also want to double up the wall over here. As you do, as you do. It's kind of what someone would do this today. There you go. Thank you. Okay, do this one too. You're you're literally right here. And then I want you to clean up. Okay, it's filthy in here. Thank you. Reason of days, Bale's got heat stroke. They just decided to throw everything at us right away, huh? Okay. 116 actually did turn out better. Let's um, do a double layer over on this side. The other side, I'm not as concerned. Eh, I should be concerned over here, at least. Yeah. 
double up over here too. There. Just do it properly. We have multiple people with heat stroke. Probably because it's 55 Celsius outside. It's halfway towards boiling. And it's 16 in here. We're going to lose a lot of meat. Thankfully, it's still fine in where all of our uh, actual meals are. Yeah, these aren't doing anything. Practically. I mean, the potatoes will last a while. They got 30 days. And that's mostly what's in here. Actually, we might be fine. Aren't you non-violent? All right. Just keep an eye. Wait for conduits. See if conduits get broken. Just based on the area where you're at. Forced weather. Now why don't you go frick off, Randy? All right. You know, if one of those decides to escape right now, that'd be a problem. Okay, your tantrum's over. Oh boy, a forced rainy thunderstorm. These rewards aren't even that good. I'm just dumping this. Okay, extreme break risk on Maskinen. Can't really do anything about it now. I tried. There we go. That's okay. I mean, could they use more recreation in here? Yeah, probably. But we don't need it right this second. Wall's been doubled. Triple it. Triple it. Don't let them through. <laughs> That's right. You can't get anywhere. This is foolish, but whatever. It's a little bit of extra, right? Okay, let's do the extravagant, extravagant evident edifice. We have the slate for it, for the most part. We'll need a little bit of extra, but I want these anti-grain warheads. I mean, it, I expected it to be big, and it's big. Uh, I really don't care about the... Who picked it up? I didn't tell you to pick this up. Whatever. Uh, oh, you know what? There's the horseshoe out there, but if I move that... Could I put it right here? I could put it right here. No. No. Dang it. Mm, if I carved a lot of this out, I could put it over here. None of this seems to be... Uh, seems to be deep mine area, so let's see about it. Cut all that down. Bring in the marble chunks. This is a weird place to put it. Like I said, if I could get all that cut down, though, I could put it, like, right here. This would be great. I think. Where are the doors? The doors are on the sides. I guess this would work then. Yeah, that would work. And then I could put it over here, or mm, wouldn't quite fit over here. I could put it down here. This would work. Actually, I kind of like that more. I don't think I want to cut all this down. I know I just told you guys to, but still, stop. Yeah. Let's pres keep preserving some of that, please. Thank goodness we got all of our um, veggies in here and the meat in here. Granted, we have practically no meat. So that might be part of the reason why we see it that way. <laughs> we have shmeat, and that's pretty much it. But we can get meat. Marriage is on. Civil War proposed marriage to Marjo. All right, well then... We'll see if that happens, shall we? Okay, walls. Slate. Flagstone blueprint. Flagstone. Um, slate. The stells. 
marble. The tables. Wood. The sarcophagi. Slate. The doors. Steel. All right. The orders are in. The animals have theoretically been hunted. I don't know if they actually have been, though. Some of them have. I, I saw that donkey was hunted. Other than that, though, I'm not sure how many we actually got and how many might have been, you know, destroyed uh, or just left. How many of them might have just left? You know? All right, we just need this done. Once this is once this is completed, we can get our rewards and we can boof these guys with an anti-grain. Maybe. Okay, that Randy is mad. I'm telling you. Silver. Where? Oh. All right. That's actually not a bad spot. We can get that silver at some point. Okay, uh, I'm gonna regret how many things I said to make out of out of um, slate. That's okay. We have uh, more sources of slate, right? We have sources of slate up here. We already drag all that in and use it. Hey, right, there's more slate. It's rumbling. Because Randy can't settle his ass down. Alright, let's see how it goes. Nobody's outside, right? Yeah, we're good. Here they come. Ooh, the fat boys. Huh. Oh, right on. Nice. Burn them out. Oh, good. The door didn't get hurt. Okay, it is 170 and climbing in there. Hmm, they are trying to break through. But for the most part, they're toasted. It's now over 700 degrees Celsius in there. Although it is unroofed? Where? Oh, up here, yeah. All right. Well, apparently one roof segment doesn't hurt. Heat wave's over. Not in here, though. All right. Good job, guys. Um, I was wasting marble for this. Eh. Just keep wasting it. Doesn't hurt. Apparently, Bale and Pillamore got into a social fight. You couldn't tell from looking at Pillamore, though. They'll be fine. All right. Good job, lads. I mean, you didn't really do anything here, but good job nonetheless. Wait till all the fire's out. And then we just replace that, and we're good. It's a problem that really solves itself. Oh no, these trees went uh, witchwood. Ugh. I mean, I don't think the trees actually went witchwood or anything. Come on. Come on, you stinky fire. Get out of here, you ugly. Oh my god, this is a fire that never... Okay, there it goes, finally. Okay. Let's go ahead and get, get the stuff replaced, as you do, as you do. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of marble, which we definitely have. Probably shouldn't have done the wooden... The wooden tables yet. Ah, well. Okay, temperature's normalizing. Looking good inside. There's a lynx over here. That's not so good. The fact that it's the only animal inside is kind of bad, actually, but... Eh. It is what it is, right? How much longer do we have for this uh, other quest? We have 1.8 days to accept it still. Okay. Age reversal demanded with Vassiv. Well, you are 47, so I guess you are up there in comparison to everyone else. So from um, that perspective, it makes sense. It does indeed. 
steel. Nice. Okay, hopefully, I I'm thinking we won't get a pit rumble for a little while at least. If I'm wrong, I'm not going to be happy, but it'll be what it'll be, right? Okay. Got about half of the flagstone down. Three out of eight tables. Wow. This is a big monument. That's okay. You know, after 15 days, I don't have to worry about it. And if it gets destroyed, it's 10 relationship points. We can get that back right quick. It's extra thick over here. I like it. I like it. Well defended. Now we need more... We need more slate. They'll probably work over here for now, and then as we get more slate chunks done, they'll do their stuff. We have plenty of time to make that, too, though. So it's not like we're desperate. Thanks, uh, Randy, by the way, for the uh, agave. Don't know what I ever would have done without you. The clean sweeper is doing its best, but it's not enough because there's too much to do. All right. The good news about these guys is that all I would have to do with them, technically, is keep them happy. But of course, well, and fight these two raids. The raids themselves, the size of them, one, two, three, four, five, you know, nine, ten, twelve people and four animals. That's not that bad. You know, I could just call in some help. I mean, the Empire's at 100% with us right now. If they'd be okay with sending help, we'd be in a great spot. Would they be okay with sending help? I'd tell you to call, Peacock, but you can't. Turns out you don't talk. Uh, call the Fallen Empire real quick. Just say, hey, how you doing? Yep, they will. They'll come. All right. That's what's important. And, you know, there's always a chance that the raiders show up down here. That would be hilarious. Fedon has a crisis of belief. All right. Fair enough. I'm surprised they didn't come up over here. Are we, are we getting the jade cranked out quick enough? Or not the jade. I saw jade's name. Are we getting the slate pumped out quickly enough? I guess we are. Because they're working. How are we doing over here now? Half of the tables are done. Over half the sarcophagi are done. There's two more doors to do. The doors are weird where they are. I was hoping to get this job done before we accepted the other one, but I don't think that's going to happen at this rate. You know? We'll see. We'll see. Okay, lads. We need to bring in more uh, slate here soon. Because we're already out again. I don't know if you noticed, but the uh, the monument is not done. So yeah, definitely still some work to do. Vasov's cutting up some marble, which is helpful, I suppose. Not what we're looking for, but helpful nonetheless. Okay. I mean, the, these turrets literally can't do anything to us from where they're positioned. In fact, with how they're positioned, we could sneak in here to attack the Inferno turrets. They literally can't do anything. The sluggers are more of a danger down here. Three mech nodes, though, could be good. That is a, a decent amount of potential good stuff, you know? All right, well, that's that'll be all the stells done. Half, little less than half of the walls. In fact, one more wall will make us put us at half. All the tables are done. All the doors are done. Very nice, very nice. And it looks like we're starting to get this patched up now too, which is also very nice, very nice. That's our first treatment in three days, so we can wait on that. They all had dark visions. He was insulted. Well, how dare. Very unfortunate, but we'll get this last stell done for sure. 
Okay, how are we doing on the hauling in of slate? We got a slate chunk here, and Fran's working on a slate chunk right now. Good. Yeah, we'll probably have this done in another day or so, at the rate that we're going. Apparently, there's something to harvest down there. I didn't even realize. I kind of like this, because it does give you an alleyway to go down. And it could also, of course, be a distraction. There we go. Getting that done. Alpaca self-tamed. Hello, alpaca. Ooh, there's alpacas. Even better. Things to hunt? Hell yeah. Get them. Eat them up. I want to... Yeah, I do want to hunt the lynx, actually. It's out here way out in the open. This is the time to hunt it, you know? That's my opinion, at least right now. Come on, Pillowmore, get this done. You're going to stop at like five work left. And you're going to go hunt. Oh my gosh, he actually finished it. I'm thrilled. Absolutely, he's going to bed. That makes sense. Okay. Well... This is what we got. At least so far. But the stells are done. The stells are done. We got 20 slate blocks. We got more slate in here. Picking it up. They take... Let's see. Five for these. So either four wall segments or five flagstone segments per block. Per chunk. Per chunk. That's what it is. You're just gonna you're gonna take all the time to haul this in just to slaughter it, huh? Not what I would recommend, but you do you. Bree, what are you doing? I was gonna say, why are you getting that close? Link's hunting Lyron. Alright. You two gather up. Come on, ladies. Let's do it. Hunt that fool! I knew that was going to happen. I absolutely knew that was going to happen. Dude, like, Randy is vicious. He is not random. He's just being vicious. You know? There's a difference. Like, I can sense... I can sense... I was going to say the viscosity. That's not the right thing. I can sense how oozy he is. He's oozy to beat me. They just left after that battle. There's still some more hunting to do, though. I, I'm telling you, he's oozy. He's so oozy to beat me. Thankfully, we have uh, a decent source. Well, we have plenty of power over here. Pretty sure even if this was gone, we'd have plenty of power over here. Between the chem fuel power generator and the geothermal. In fact, the geothermal alone is probably way more than enough. Probably. I could be very wrong on that, actually, because, you know, geothermal puts out 3,600. Mm -hmm. And this is putting out 14. Ah! I think the geothermal and the chem fuel generator might be able to do it themselves. Not 100% on that, but it looks like it's kind of likely. From what I can see right now. All right. We've been beating around the bush long enough. Let's see if we can get a Zeus hammer. All right, here they come. 1.3 days? Oh my gosh, they're arriving like instantly. What the hell? Okay, can they be drafted at least? They can be drafted, but, you know, I wouldn't want them to fight. At least in theory. Okay, well, I didn't think their shuttle would show up that quickly. I thought I should have I should have paid attention. Well, they look over the past two days worth of mood, so it should be easy to keep their mood relatively high for two days. You know? It's extremely impressive in this room, even with how dirty it is, and they're gonna have this room to sleep in for their barracks. I think keeping them happy will be, uh... Why are you unhappy? Never mind. Apparently. Because you used... 
Dude, this is stupid. This is absolutely stupid. They should not be allowed to come in here and use our drugs. That is actually idiotic. Like, it is unbelievable that the game lets them do that. Just by default. That's the default, is that they come in here and use all your drugs. And then get pissy at us for it. Unbelievable. I'm going to make them fight the Raiders at this point. I'm, I'm pissed at them. I don't care about the relation or the reward. Machine logo disrespected. Well then, clean up in here. All right, where are these raiders that are supposed to be fighting them? All right, apparently Alboyo, I'm guessing, is just taking these insults like a champ? I'm not sure. Yeah, at this point, I'm, I'm just pissed at them. Guess Mood apparently has to stay above 40. Yeah, no. Bring on the raids. They have weapons. One of them has a weapon. Well, that's going to suck for the rest of them. Major break risk. And eh, none of us. None of our people. Their people, yes. None of our people. Okay, I'm assuming the first raid... Maybe both the raids will just show up overnight. That's my initial assumption. Because what better time, right? So freaking stupid. And it takes 2.5 days for it to go away. So the chance of their mood is going to stay above 40 is nearly nil. Alright. I like how they're just wandering in the middle of the night. Just wandering outside. I mean, I could restrict them, but who cares? But whatever. The defaults were to say, you know, do all the drugs, make yourself extremely unhappy, use up my penicycline for literally nothing. That's fine. I mean, the look, I get it. The solve for that. The solve for that, because there is a solve for it. I'm sure you've already angrily pounded it out on your keyboard, is to make a new drug policy because this one is the default for everyone. Although you should be able to switch which one is the default. You can't. Seem to. I feel like you should be able to. What if you duplicated it and got rid of this one? Drug policy is in use by Snipe. And a lot of other people, but okay. Um, and a cycling policy. Okay. Okay. Manage drug policies. Delete. No drugs becomes the default policy. I mean, that's the one I'd prefer to be the default. All right. That fixes it, apparently. But I feel like if they have an idea, idea religion that says that they're, they shouldn't be doing any drugs, then their default policy should be no drugs. But whatever. Or, or they should be forced to take drugs. You know, they won't take it based on a stupid policy. But apparently that's just me. All right. Well, we got 12 hours before the uh, 11 hours before the shuttle arrives. Okay, this isn't done yet, so I'm wondering if it's OK if it gets damaged. You know what I mean? Stay in the home area for now, by the way. That includes all of you, I guess.
Here we go. Of course, they're showing up at the opposite uh, end of the country. Uh, Jade, go call the Fallen Empire. <sighs> okay, let's try to get someone who will actually use words. Thank you. Okay. Fallen Empire is on the way. Are you serious? Ugh. Okay, whatever. Go fight them. For me, please. Huh. That was an interesting spot for those to drop. On the upside, I'm going to get all those for free. So that'll be cool. Okay, here comes the second one. The second one's a regular raid. And of course, they're dropping right on top of us. I had the feeling this game was going to be that freaking awful about it. In there? It killed a guest. So... So there was literally zero chance I was going to be able to succeed. Because they can just have a drop pod come this, from the sky and instantly kill them. Why, why even take the quest? Genuinely, why even take the quest at that point? Like, why ever play it? Why, why do quest in this game? If they're going to do bullshit like that. It completely defeats the point. They also instantly killed Psy. Because they could. That said, we have... We have means to fight back. Okay. Make sure Psy is uh, forbidden over here. Okay. Come on over, let's kill him. Get our militors in here. Latches down. Oh, the other ones are still alive too. They didn't. Oh, yeah, and the guests are leaving. <sighs> Stupid. Hey, go fight the enemies, please. Come over here, get ready to fight them. Okay, looks like they're all down. Come over here, y'all. Oh, good, yeah, just stand there. Yeah, no, just have one of our people shoot. Pillamore can't shoot him from here. Can you believe this? I don't know if I can. All right. Come over here, ghouls, and undraft so you'll fight. We need to finish them off. Okay, I, I still need you to fight. Believe it or not. Yosef's down. And they're fleeing. Okay. Well, that's done. That was a waste of time, effort, and people. Which is fan freaking tastic. Fran needs to be rescued right away. Uh, actually, Fran will be fine. Um, okay. Go ahead and allow everything for now. I will unallow it later. I just gotta remember to do that. Okay. Got a lot of free food. That's good. This door is still not destroyed somehow. Okay, these doors are not destroyed somehow. Mason is still alive somehow. Um, okay. Who'd we lose? Um, Latch. Where's Sai? Sai's right here. Sai. Okay. Glitch. Where is Glitch? Uh, you drop Glitch. I don't want you to. I don't want you to do that to Glitch. Let's drop him. Okay. That's all of them. We only lost three. No, we lost one more. Who else did we lose? Yosef. Where's Yosef? Right here. Okay. Cool. We know where all of them are. All right, let them go. Let's get people healed up. Grab these assholes and haul them in. Unwaveringly loyal. Brainwash the hell out of them. All right, well, that was one of the stupidest missions I've ever uh, seen take place. Good lord. Like, it was literally impossible. 
Okay, someone get one of these beds done. We need... Oh, no, no. We got room. We got room. Um, Grab this person. Okay. Uh, don't, do not put Fed on in a uh, Crypto Sleep casket. There we go. Capture him. Okay. Uh, who is available? Who is available? Snipe, you need to heal. Of course he lost a leg. Okay, he's going to heal. Maskedin, you're eating. Uh, Lyron. Start resurrecting ghouls, please. Okay. I'm gonna pick that one up, then I can say to do this one next. Okay, tell your mechs to go into recharge mode. Get your leg patched up. We'll have to put a new leg in you, but we have legs, right? Yes, we do. Excellent. Doing one better then. Um, left leg. Left leg. Use best quality medicine. Get that done, he'll be fine. Okay, Yosef's back. Excellent. Thank you, Lyron. Okay. And then back another one Wuyan has a medical emergency well Wuyan is of lower priority here all right this is fine this is actually good uh, watching those deteriorate masterwork wooden bed great and yeah, this is where we get our masterwork beds okay glitch is up where's Sai Where's size corpse? I don't see it. Okay, there it is. Just checking. Okay. And then Lyron, finally. Use your cool resurrection serum on Psy, and then the team will be back. And that is theoretically what's most important. Hmm. Okay. Get all of this stuff out of here. All these steel slags. Snipe, do you have a new leg yet? You do? Good. I mean, while we're here, we might as well give him two bionic legs, right? He'll replace them eventually, but yeah, might as well have them. We got a lot of free food. That's good. We actually got 49 free survival meals. So hard to complain about that. Um, yeah, the Empire's uh, approval with, of us went down to, like, in the 30s, but bigger problems right now. Okay. We should be fine at this point. We've, we've stabilized things for the most part. We did not, of course get our Zeus hammer, but we are still in line to get our anti-grain warheads, which might be good enough. For now, however, that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays Rim World Anomaly. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. It'll keep coming. I'll stop till it does, and then it will. Maybe something else will come, and maybe you'll like that too. I don't know. But thanks for watching this episode of Rim World Anomaly. My name is Slat, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody-os. Yo.